Chrissy just went through a deliverance, and, uh, and Chrissy didn't come out of the crack house. No, I'm going to say that because people think, well, I don't have a big testimony where I was in the cr and crack and all this kind of stuff and beating people up and in prison. And how, how many know that there are professionals and there are people in our society that need Jesus and need deliverance? Would you? We, they need to hear how the Holy Spirit set you free. And even you can just give a few details, you know what I'm saying? People understand the reality of what happened. So I was dealing with what I thought, well, what I now know is a spirit of infirmity and a spirit of, um, like I had made, come into agreement with my pain and almost like bonded with it. And we had gone to a deliverance conference in October and a woman started to pray over me and told me that, and I told her about my thyroid and she said that could be a spirit of witchcraft. And when she started to pray for me, it got very tight and I literally didn't listen to her pray because I was like, oh, this is scary. And so I let her finish her prayer and I just went on. And it did. It literally felt like someone like karate chopped my throat and I would get this lump and it would not go away. And I, I didn't tell him. I didn't tell. Oh, it was definitely demonic. It was like during church, I would feel it come on when people were praying or when healing prayers were being prayed. I would feel this like tightness in my throat. And I didn't tell my husband because I was like the enemy was trying to keep me in bondage. And because I would hear this voice, if you hear this irrational voice saying, you don't need prayer for that or whatever, that's the enemy trying to keep you in bondage. So he finally on Wednesday, um, they started praying for me and you know, the enemy will even use your own gifts because he'll say, well, if it's really going to happen, like someone will speak it to you. But I just felt it rising up in me to speak to Kyle and say, this is what I need prayer for. And so I was, it took a lot of bravery. And I said, Kyle, I, I really think it's my thyroid. I really think there's something in my throat that's like not, it's, it's a battle. It was definitely a battle, like something demonic. And so he's like, okay, let's call it out. So they started praying. I fell on my face. And y'all, it, it was like two different things. So my flesh was screaming. Like my mouth was open as wide, I, like freakishly wide. And in my spirit and in my mind, I'm going, how is this possible? How is this happening? But I felt peace. And it was like something was rising up to escape. But at the same time, I heard God saying, I'm keeping you. I'm working on you. Like you're having peace. And so I just, I'm screaming and screaming and screaming in the natural, like screaming, but I feel peace. And then I just start saying like, Jesus, I love you. Thank you. And the screaming stops. And when I sat up, I just felt almost exactly what Charlie said. I just had so much peace and release. And that pain was gone. And I just felt joy. It was so beautiful. And, you know, people that have gone through deliverance, another person's witnessed that. And she said, I needed to see your face. Because if you've gone through deliverance, you literally have a tangible, physical glow about you. And she looked at me and she's like, I needed to be reminded of that. Because I've gone through that. And I needed to be reminded of that God can do this. Jesus can do this for you. You just have to listen to the voice of the Lord and not the voice of the enemy and beat those devils and say, I'm not listening to you. I, people are going to pray for me. This is what I need to be able to get my healing, to get my deliverance. Yeah. Can somebody give God a hand? Come on. So how, how many realize what she just said was that she needed the hand of God to come. And let me also tell you, this wasn't a six-hour deliverance service where all this kind of spooky stuff. No, this is what the glory happens in the glory. It was an instant deliverance. The whole thing happened in like 30 seconds, 60 seconds. It was like the power of God just came on her, and she was set free.